Hello, good people of the internet. While waiting for the release of at least the first release client of Generate Press Premium 2.0 before I update my photography website, I figured I'd present to you my thoughts on Generate Blocks Pro. After all, I've been enjoying the plugin ever since it was released a couple of months back. Before I get going, I do want to clear up some confusion caused by my last video on the subject. Generate Blocks, the plugin, is not exclusive to Generate Press. While I definitely recommend you use Generate Press as your WordPress theme, you can use both the free and pro version of Generate Blocks with any theme as long as you use the block editor. And I'll have some links for both in the video description. I'm calling this video a review and a guide because I'm going to be going through all the features Generate Blocks Pro has to offer. So you will hopefully also know how to use it once I'm done. And if you know me, you should know that I wouldn't create a guide if I didn't like what I was talking about. Guess what my verdict will be. But for now, make yourself comfortable, grab yourself a cuppa and enjoy my review, guide, whatever you make of it. Generate Blocks Pro has nine added features compared to the free version on WordPress.org. Those nine features are the template library, global styles, advanced backgrounds, container links, the asset library, copy and paste style, device visibility, and custom attributes. And because most of you won't watch more than a couple of minutes of this video, we are going to start off with the most interesting additions, effects and advanced backgrounds. But before that, a word on pricing. Generate Blocks Pro costs uh, $39 per year for one site, 69 nice for 10 sites and $99 for 250 sites. And at this point, I do want to just quickly defend the pricing for both Generate Blocks and Generate Press. Firstly, the price for Generate Blocks is fair for what you get. But ever since the number of sites for which you can use your Generate Press premium key was limited, I've seen people complaining. The reason why you no longer can use Generate Press premium on unlimited sites and why Generate Blocks never had the offer is because some assholes decided to start selling their key for less than what the developer was charging. Blame them and not Tom. Effects were something the no coders among us were long waiting for. As with some other added features I'll be covering, you could and still can add effects to generate blocks using CSS, but now you can get it all done from right within the editor. And in true generate blocks fashion, you can create and combine just about everything. Effects can be applied to containers, headlines, and buttons, but obviously not grids. I'm personally not a big fan of what I call hyperactive websites, and I generally use animations only to give a visitor a subtle hint when an element might be interactive. A little drop shadow there and a bit of elevation thrown in is all I need. I really like adding effects, especially to my buttons and container links. But if you are someone who's comfortable with CSS, you won't need to pay for a Generate Blocks Pro just for this feature. Simply add a custom CSS class and do it yourself. But for me and any other no coders, the effects are worth the price on their own. On to advanced backgrounds, which are basically effects, except they handle background images and gradients in the container block. Using this feature, you can add gradients and images to containers and apply them to any device. So if you want to keep your mobile site as slim as possible, you'd simply remove the backgrounds. As with the effects, you can define whether the advanced background appears in a normal or a hover state. Advanced backgrounds isn't the only added feature for containers. With container links, you can create card style links and design them with the hover design options I just mentioned. Advanced backgrounds will be even more interesting once Generate Press Premium 2.0 arrives, but that is not a can of worms we'll be opening in today's video. The template library is 
perhaps unsurprisingly, a library of templates. There are currently almost 170 professional looking templates which you can insert anywhere on your pages and posts. For me, once again, this library alone is something that made the pro version worth the price I paid. I'll often need a wee bit of inspiration when designing WordPress sites and that inspiration often comes in the form of a template. And because generate blocks are so highly customizable, you can take any of the templates and start adjusting it to your liking. Now, obviously you can also share WordPress blocks without the need of any paid plugins freely on the internet. I've seen a few places with some nice looking generate blocks templates, but with the pro version, you get everything nicely presented in a central place without the need of having to do any searching or ever even leaving the WordPress back. Backend. The other library you have access to is the asset library. Again, it is something you could put together yourself, but having it included as part of generate blocks just makes working with it so much easier and it fits my personal workflow. The asset library allows you to add your own SVG icons and shapes to your library and then access them inside the editor without having to copy and paste the SVG HTML. By the way, if you do use SVG HTML on your site, I recommend optimizing the files before you do so using this tool here, SVG OMG. I'll link it down below. Possibly the most underrated feature of them all are the global styles. These allow you to reuse the styles throughout your website. You can't compare global styles to duplicating or copy pasting a block because when global styles are used, the CSS for that element is only written once. A real world example will best explain this feature. On my site, Home Assistant Guide, I use the same settings for grids over and over again. I've got a 30 pixel horizontal and a 30 pixel vertical gap. I could enter those settings manually every time I create a new grid or I could simply add a new global style. Adjust the settings to my liking and give it a name I will immediately recognize. Whenever creating a new post or page, I can assign the global style in the main editor and the 30 pixel gaps will be applied. Were I to add multiple grids without using a global style, each grid would write its own CSS, but when using a global style, the same CSS can be used for all. An added advantage of using global styles is that I can go back into the global style editor and adjust any settings. Let's say I wanted the horizontal gap to be 50 pixels wide. Once that adjustment has been made, it will be applied to any grids using that global style. Global styles also massively help me keep my sites uniform. For example, I've got a global style for a container in which I add images and a global style for buttons. If adding global styles isn't your thing, you can also copy and paste styles. Let's say you've got two containers which you've styled and added effects to. You want both to look identical, but you also want to make a few adjustments to them. Previously, you would have either had to make adjustments to both containers or duplicated the updated one and moved the text around. Now you can simply copy the style of one container and paste it onto another. Finally, there are two more advanced features in Generate Blocks Pro. You can select which class of devices you want your blocks to appear on. And you can also apply custom data attributes to your elements. Hiding blocks was something you could already effortlessly do with Generate Press, but I guess it's nice it's there now. And custom attributes are something I've never used yet. To sum things up, if you are looking for the best and fastest quasi page builder for WordPress, look no further than Generate Press Pro. Yes, the free version is fantastic on its own, but the pro version takes customizability to another level. It's perfect for those among us who don't code, but like clean, speedy, and good looking sites. Anyways, that has been just about enough from me. If you enjoyed this video, please do leave me a like as it makes a massive difference. And if you didn't like this video, hit the dislike button twice to make it extra impactful. I've been Liam Alexander Coleman, and this has been me talking about Generate Blocks Pro. You have not been Liam Alexander Coleman, but I will see you in the next one. Bye.